Hello and welcome to Fundamental STEM. My name is Jer and today I'm going to give you an introduction into everything you'll need to know to get started using Scratch programming. So without further ado, let's get into this computer and get started. So guys, what you need to do is head over to whatever uh, Explorer or uh, web browser you use. I'm using Chrome. You could be using Internet Explorer or Firefox or Safari or whatever. It doesn't really make a difference. And in your search engine, just search for Scratch. S-C-R-A-T-C-H and click return. And the first option there, you'll see that mit.edu, that's the Scratch website. And when you log into the Scratch website for the first time, uh, you'll, this is exactly what you'll see. Um, it has all the featured games on here. It's, this is actually a community of users, um, all, the, all the other uh, people out there who make their own programs, and they make their programs public so people can play them and they can help each other out and so on. So straight away, you do not need to download anything. If you want to use Scratch, you can log straight onto the website and literally just click the Create option there, and it will bring you to the, uh, the what would you call it, the platform where we actually do it. Now you guys can watch this in your own time. Bit of an introduction. And here's our Scratchy cat here. We can, you can program him to do various other bits and pieces. So I'll give a quick, I'll do a quick, a quick video here, or a quick, uh, not a quick video, a quick, program and we'll just make the cat run around a bit so I'll just pull out a few blocks and we can make him move and we can make him uh, bounce off the edge and we can make the set rotation style left and right and click him and off he goes and he starts running so that's a very very basic one but let's say you made a bit of a program here and you're uh, not a member of scratch and you don't have a download uh, of the software on your machine uh, you can still save this so you click on file and you can save to your computer. Now, if you don't have the software on your computer, as you can see down here, I have the current one and the previous one, so uh, if I was to save this, my machine will recognize the file. But if you don't have that, your machine won't recognize what you're dealing with, and so you'll get a white folder, you're trying to open it and it won't open. So it'll, it'll only reopen when you're back on the website and you click load from computer, and then the white file that you've saved previously will be recognized. Okay, so the second part, uh, second option then, is to actually join Scratch, okay, and become a member of Scratch, and that way then you don't have to actually save, you don't have to save your programs on your computer at all, you can actually save them on the Scratch website, on your, on your profile. So I'm not going to go through all of this, because this is actually a fairly standard setup. As you can see there, there's a couple of different steps, set up your name, set up your email address, uh, confirmation and then you just confirm it that's what that little email one is there you have to have an email address to set this up fully so for you kids out there setting this up you might need some parental guidance on this you may need to use uh, your mom and dad's email address if you don't already have one uh, so that's that step and um, once you've set up um, your actual account you'll be able to make your programs and then save them on here so uh, I'm gonna pause here for a second um, and I'm gonna log into my one. Oh, we're actually, oh, I don't have to pause. There we go, don't need to pause, we're already logged in. So here's my uh, fundamental stem, and uh, when we click into uh, my stuff, we should be able to see a range of different programs. So these are programs that have already been made, and you guys can access these, these are all public. So they're basic um, like programs that have already been set up, um, and you know, there's the, most of my stuff is educational, uh, so I try to like add in an element of like, as you can see there, there's, there's geometry, and then there's some maths problems there, and um, so it's not really games uh, on my ones, but other people have different games, and uh, you know you can click on any one of the programs. Um, let's have a look at this one. Um, I can't remember what this one was, but this is just bats buzzing about the place or flying about the place, and there the program, as you can see there, the, the, they're, they're doing their own thing but there's a function here if you see somebody else's program you can click on see inside and it'll bring you to uh, the inside of the program where you can see the code that was in that was made up in it and you can see all the different all the different component parts of it all the different sprites and the different background um, so that's that's the gist of what we're, what we're needing to do there so let's get back to the main screen again because there's one other way that we would um, that you would get scratched. So I'm, I'm going to sign out because I want to get back to the very beginning. 
and there's one more thing that you could do you can go down to the very bottom of the screen here and if you can see here we have offline editor and this is my personal favorite way of doing this because you never know when you're going to have broadband or not um, and uh, whereabouts you're doing it and plus um, you know I, I, I do this programming with um, a local coder school um, and we don't have very good broadband in the build building that we use so this is the best option for us so straight away here you can just see here the, the click download Now this couldn't be any simpler this is the most straightforward download you'll ever come across you, you click download and you're down at the bottom you'll you'll find that the, the download starts loading you just click run and straight away but if you also want to have a look at some of the older versions of Scratch. If you scroll down a little bit more, there's Scratch 2.0 and Scratch 1.4. Uh, so there's older versions of Scratch available. Now the only difference between 3 and 2 is that you're going to need to, if you click on download 2, there is a couple of steps to it. Uh, you need to download Adobe Air and make it run and then download the Scratch editor. You know, and you've got your Mac and your uh, Windows versions here and the third one is just some material some projects that you can that you can download there as well so that's having the actual software now once you've actually downloaded the software I'll show you the two different versions here so there's scratch 2 um, which uh, many people want to stick with because it's kind of like any version of software a lot of people are very comfortable with this they like the stage on this side and they like the layout where we have all the palettes uh, in the middle and so on like this um, but then there's also um, let me see the costumes are a bit different as well when you click in here we have all these costumes you know a lot of people are very familiar with with, with the costumes that you have this is one thing I won't miss it's uh, it's you see that glitchiness there this version of scratch always had this problem where it would um, it would be a bit sticky when you went into costumes uh, so there's the costumes and then your back your backdrops uh, So you could click in here and you have you have a whole range of backdrops that are in there So there's that version of scratch that's scratch 2 and then the second version of scratch is the newest one or I should say the third version really because it is the third version a lot of people didn't get on board with the with the well, 1.4 version so this is a uh, this is not on the website this is on my machine and you can you can download this is the version you can download onto your own machine you can see they kind of they, they kind of have the same things they just put them in a slightly different order so instead of having pallets now it's all one continuous wheel and um, yeah you can go through there but the the, the beauty thing about uh, scratch tree is that when you click on this button down here you get a lot more options here so there's going to be video sensing and the pen function is there and you know um, there's a uh, micro bit is going to be a, a, a big feature with uh, when you move into kind of more complicated programming linked to servos and motors and lights and things like that you can use a micro bit or we have the the Lego feature and so on so yeah m um, the scratch software is really kind of expanded but uh, for now if you guys want to get started these are the best ways to do it so I hope you guys enjoyed the video please remember to click like subscribe and we'll see you again in the next video